All right, so using the Florida Solar Energy Center's website on the system installation, we're at part five of the collector return line plumbing. Now, a couple things to realize here, depending upon the type of system that we're going to do, we may or may not have some of these valves that are going to be on the collector return line. So this is going to be the very hot water that has been heated by the collectors and now is returning to the tank. We need to protect this line in particular and one component that we're going to have to add when we're protecting not only the pipes but the collector themselves is a pressure relief valve. And so as you can see in this picture right here coming off of the return collector there's going to be a T there's going to be a small pressure relief valve added right here. And uh, we'll talk about the pressure relief valve in an upcoming video and how the proper pressure is to set it. But the point is for our rough in right now, we're going to need to add really two main components. One is a air vent system. Some folks like to use what they call a coin vent up here. Other folks will put just a small ball valve that will be able to be bled manually to, to burp any air that is collected into the system as we're doing our initial filling. And over time, if we ingest any sort of air or there's a crack or leak, that air will always go to the highest position. Now, it may not always be on the collector return. It may be on the inlet side of our collector that may be on the high side. It depends. We want to find the highest point. Typically, it will be on the collector return side, and we want to install that in a true vertical position to allow all of that air to eventually make it to that point and have a way to drain that air out of the system. But like I said, we always need a air vent in a system and we'll need a pressure relief valve. You may or may not need a freeze valve. If this is a drain back system, you will. If we're going to do a closed loop system like what we've been talking about and what we'll do in our lab, then we won't need to do that. So there's a couple things. Notice that they have already started to add the insulation, which is a closed foam insulation, and they'll either need to put aluminum flashing, aluminum wrap, like an aluminum sticker base wrap around it, or they can paint that to help prevent that from degrading. So that's what we're going to really need to focus in on our collector return. This line are going to get extremely hot. If there's stagnation present, this line right here can get well over a few hundred degrees and that those are going to be some problematic problems for us because it's going to get A, so hot, and B, everything on there has got to be designed to handle that extremely high temperature.